everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new then hi my name is Caitlin welcome and today we are doing my year-long makeup empties this is all the makeup that I finished in 2022 all put together in one video I used to do this monthly but I thought you know what let's just do a big one at the end of the year so that's what we're doing today all of this is makeup that I have finished this year there's a lot of it, as you can see. Um, we had a very, very, very successful year this year. And so I'm just gonna go through it all in the order that you do your face and kind of, uh, yeah, try and get some order to this and throw this away because this has been in my collection for a year. Just empty packaging. But just before we jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. We are coming to the end of Vlogmas. If you missed it, there will be 31 videos for you to binge all from this month. We did a huge declutter series, which was so fun. A lot of project pans, shop moustaches and get ready with me's. So if that sounds like a good time to you, stick around. But today, empties all right then let's organize this in some kind of way <laughs> okay so first we have primers we have got the nyx honey do me up i really enjoyed this primer it was like quite tacky um but very very expensive this is the becca black no jekka black glow drops i hated these if you were around um, at the start of the year, you will know how much I hated these. I don't want to hate pan anymore. Um, so yeah, this was a struggle. And I decided to put this in here as well. This is my e.l.f. Is there a name on it? Nope. Just e.l.f. little eye primer as well. This went really, really quickly. This is the first eye primer that I ever bought. And yeah, it was fine. It was okay. Um, I can't really say anything about it. But yeah, these three primers were used up this year. So this was a really, really good foundation year, as you can see. Um, five foundations. How crazy is that? So first, let's start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is like a classic. Everybody knows this. Uh, it's a lot of people's first foundation. It's so cheap. But it's so good, um, I really enjoyed it. It might not fit my foundation preferences right now. I do go for more lower coverage right now. But I enjoyed it while I was using it and I think it's a great little foundation. This Morphe foundation, oh my god, I hated it. I hated this Morphe foundation. So I remember I was doing a Legally Blonde rehearsal and I had this on and I literally had to wipe my foundation off. I asked around the cast for a makeup wipe because this thing just looked horrendous. It made my skin look like felt. It like, I don't know how else to describe it. I just look like felt, like fuzzy, Ugh, horrible, do not recommend. Two Superstay foundations. This is a classic foundation. And I really, like, I wish I could repurchase this, but I don't because Maybelline is not cruelty free, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna repurchase this, but I wish I could because I remember adoring this foundation so much. And finally, my Revolution Matte Base. I recommend this to anyone who likes full coverage. This foundation is incredible and it's like four pounds. So if you're on a budget, and you need a full coverage foundation, the matte base, like 100%. I will probably repurchase that when I've gone through my foundation collections a little bit because this is stunning. We have two concealers this year. We have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible. This is not cruelty free, so I'm glad that this was used up and it was a little bit dry for me, I think, so. Yeah, I did have another one, but I did end up decluttering the other one. And then the Huda Beauty Overachiever. I actually got this on Depop, so I don't actually know how old it was, but it was super, super, super full coverage. I did enjoy this one. This took a while to use, but we did get there in the end. Uh, yeah, two concealers. I'm very happy. We also used up two powders. First of all is the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is not cruelty free, so I'm glad that this was used up. I'll probably use these two as like frankening compacts um, later in the year, because, well, there's nothing wrong with this one. 
Oh, this one's kind of broken, so maybe not this one. But this is the Essence All About Matte. I really enjoyed this powder as well. It's so cheap, but it's really, really good. I do really like this. They were both really nice, so those two. We used up one blush. This was a cream blush. It is the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. It was fine. I don't like cream products, as you guys probably know. So yeah, this was just a get it out of my collection. I don't want to see it anymore. So yeah, I'm glad I got this out. We used up one highlighter. This is my Revolution Pro Supreme Highlight. And I was working on this shade here, the middle one. I did depot these two, but this one is so beautiful. I do have a replacement that I'm, I'm trying not to use. Lately, <laughs> I do have to pre-film this video quite a lot because I have family coming around and then I'm gonna go traveling for Christmas. So yeah, I got a pre-film, unfortunately. But if there's anything that I miss, anything that I finish uh, between now and Christmas, I will pop it in. I'll edit it in as well. But so far, just the one highlight. Okay, let's do brows. I've got three brow gels and one brow pencil. I have vowed never, ever, ever to buy brow pencils ever again, just because they take me a week to go through and then I'm done. And they're just such a waste of money. But this is the Essence Micro Precise Brow Pencil. I used up the Essence Make Me Brow. I used up the Benefit, is this the Gimme Brow? I'm not sure, the writing's all written off. And then I have no idea what kind of brow gel this was because as you can see, all the writing's rubbed off. But three brow gels, one brow pencil. I'm very happy with that. I do just use eyeshadow in my brows now. So I don't really have much use for brow products. So I will probably try and use up kind of the rest of my brow products in the coming year as well. Okay, eyeshadows. So we... <sighs> I don't want to show this. This is my Pan That Palette. You will have to stick around. My Pan That Palette finale will be coming live very, 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 very soon. But all I'm saying is we have finished three eyeshadows from this. Um, yeah, stick around. I don't want to show it just because I don't want like, I don't know, I want that finale to be like a big reveal. But um, definitely stick around because it is I'm so proud of this. This is definitely my proudest panning moment of the year. This is my Modern Renaissance and we finished the shade Tempera. This is going to be my Pan That Palette next year. So we did kind of, kind of loosely work on it this year. Uh, I finished a shade and hit pan on quite a few other shades just in preparation for that project, which I'm glad we did. And this is what's left of my Soph X Revolution palette. This is what it looks like and we finished this shade here. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was a lid setting shade. We did finish that. Okay, what next? Um, let's do mascaras. These are the three mascaras that I used up this year. I have a um, Essence Lash Princess, that's the one. Essence Lash Princess, I have the waterproof one, and then the Bad Gal Bang. I don't get the Bad Gal Bang, I really don't understand it. I would rather have my Essence ones, uh, and they're so much cheaper than this. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I've learned that I don't want to stockpile mascara anymore. I only have one mascara in my inventory right now, and I'm very happy with that. If I get gifted a mascara, then fine, but like, I'm not gonna stockpile and hoard mascara because it's just something that I use one of, I like my essence and yeah I don't need more than that so I'm glad to have three out. We used up two eyeliners this year, this is my number seven black pencil. This might not look completely done but I can't like twist it in the pencil sharpener anymore so I'm counting this as done, I got very far with it. And this is my NYX vinyl. Apparently this has been discontinued and I'm absolutely gutted. This is my favorite liquid liner, but I'm gonna have to find a new favorite now because it's done, it's gone, it's died, and I'm so sad. <laughs> We've got two little lash glues. These are just a little boring, um, but they're two duo lash glues. I do have to use latex free because my eyes are very sensitive, but that's just so boring. So I'm gonna move on. We have five lip products. We have Morphe, Morphe Butterflies, as you can see, 
it's a done and dusted. We have Colourpop Aquarius, which I can't roll up anymore. This is completely done as well. I really love these Colourpop lippy sticks. Colourpop Cookie, as you can see, is completely gone. I'm so sad about that. Colourpop Cookie was definitely my favourite shade and I'm really sad that it's gone. I have so many other lip products that I don't need to repurchase it for a while. I have my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. And I have my The Beauty Crop Wee Sherry Tinted Lip Balm thing. My other lip balms are in my skincare empties that will be coming live in a few days. But because this was so tinted, I kind of used it as like a tinted lip gloss. So, yeah. We used up two lip liners. This is the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And then this, I, I don't even know what it is. It's Colourpop. I know that. But I don't know the name of it. I cannot remember. It is so tiny. And yeah, we finished them. And finally, last but not least, I finished up two setting sprays this year. This is my KVD Locket and this is my Nip and Fab Oil Control. Um, these were fine. I didn't really notice anything massive, any huge deals about them. They were just setting sprays. They were fine. So yeah, that is everything that I finished this year. I think we did a really, really good job this year. It is the first time that I'm really putting all my empties together. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this again next year and just seeing what, like how many products that I managed to finish, if I finish more, if I finish less. I think I will finish more just because I finish uni. I'm graduating next year. So a lot more time to do my makeup, which I'm so excited about. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. You can see my hands, my li poor little fingers are so red because I'm very cold. It's currently minus three and my heating doesn't work. So I'm in my onesie. <sighs> Send a girl some love, like, like this video. <laughs> so this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.